Can we use math to target a potato cannon or this potato gun that I built? First, we need to find the initial velocity or speed of the potato. Then we can put that into our formulas to figure out how far the potato will go. To find the initial velocity, we need to find the time, distance, traveled, and use the formula d equals rt. I'm using a level to make sure that my potato gun is going to shoot perfectly level. It'll be horizontal to the ground. Each cone is 15 feet apart, so it looks like it's hitting by the second cone in about 0.4 seconds. Let's try it again. Yes, it's about 32 feet in 0.4 seconds. We use the equation d equals rt, substitute our information in, and see that it's coming out to be about 80 feet per second. That's how fast the potato is moving. So how far will it go? We know the speed, but we also need to know the angle that the gun is shooting at. So I'm going to use a protractor and we find that the gun is aimed at an 83 degree angle. There are two things to consider when we shoot at an angle. The vertical direction and the horizontal direction. Here is the equation for height. Now there are two times when the height is going to be equal to zero when it starts and when it stops. You can see that from this graph. At time zero it has a height of zero and at about five seconds it has a height of zero. Because the potato goes up and then comes back down, its shape and equation is not linear but instead quadratic. So to solve for the time we can either use the quadratic formula or factor. And we can see that if I factor, I get five seconds, just like in the graph. Now I can use a simpler equation for horizontal distance. And we find that it's going to go about 48.7 feet. The potato is on its way down, and it landed just a little bit after three cones, so that's be more than 45 feet, which is very close to our mathematical answer of 48 feet. Let's see if it lands within about five seconds. And we can see that four and a half seconds is very close to the five seconds that we estimated. So far, our math looks pretty good. It went about 48 feet in within about five seconds. Are you curious about how high it went? We can go back to our graph and look at the peak of our graph which was close to 100 feet. We put in a time of halfway into our equation and we can also see that it gives us an answer of close to 100 feet in the air.